I'm very happy that Joe Sherlock is here tonight. Sorry, it's a hybrid meeting. Would love to have him, but I'm sure he's not disappointed. <laughs> Joe took over as executive director of the state party. I forget when. Uh, uh, a few months ago, at least, right? Uh, I took over as executive director since the summer. I've been with the party since 2020. Well, he's been doing a bang up job. We we're very happy to have him. Always nice to see him at the meetings. I send him hate mail. I forward him hate mail. <laughs> I'll explain that later. I, I send him Republican mail. Whatever I get, he gets it too. So, oh, Joe Kelly, our colleague, state committee colleague is here. We're very happy to have him. Um, Jackie Curtis is here as well. So um, this is Chair Kevin Doyle, and these are our offices, so I'm sure you'll be hearing from later. Uh, Joe, thank you for joining us tonight. Of course, thank you for having me. Yep, you're, you're on. I'm on? Okay, <laughs> yeah, all right. yeah, yeah, we're pushing you into it already. No, let's go. Uh, thanks, and can folks hear me in the room there? Uh, you can hear me in the room, right? Try it again. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we're adjusting the volume here. Got it. Okay. We're working on it. Can you hear me now? Should I? Am I good to go? Is that you? All set. All set. All right. I'll just go. Uh, thanks, everybody, for having me. I um, appreciate the, the introduction. My name is Joe Sherlock, um, the executive director here at Mass Dems. And yeah, I've been ED since the summer. Uh, I have, uh, it's, not, it's never fun. It's great to have a great mentor that I took over for Veronica. It's always terrible when you have to fill enormous shoes. Um, so I've been uh, trying to live up to it. I'm um, working here with uh, Chair Gus Bickford, um, and I've been with the party since March of 2020. I've worn a dozen hats at the party, um, which is what I really enjoy about the work. I've managed uh, the last three conventions, been a special elections coordinator, um, I managed a special uh, or a, the legislative elections in the 2020 election. So I've had a whole lot of fun working here. Um, and yeah, I, the, the big news from the party is we're have some things coming down the pipeline, which I'm sure folks have seen. Um, and I saw that it was in the, the minutes for the meeting is that um, the state convention has been selected, uh, which will be in Lowell in September. Uh, it's a platform or it's an uh, action agenda convention that'll be held in Lowell on September 23rd. Um, there's nothing anybody needs to do yet. Uh, we have not uh, posted for the preliminary call or, or set caucus um, or receiving caucus dates yet, but Everybody keep eyes on your emails because um, that information will be coming out shortly. Um, that'll be really exciting. Um, we're, it's always really a great convention to get new people into the party. Um, it's easy for uh, new young people to run for delegate, to you know, fill add-on seats. Um, part of my benchmark for success for conventions is if I see people I don't know. Um, I love seeing the people that I do know, um, including folks who are on this call, but it's always great to see people that we don't know, new people being brought into the party. Um, and that's a big focus of, of my work. It's why I started doing this work was to bring people in and to make change like that. Before I was a political hack, I was a middle school teacher. Um, I taught fifth and sixth grade social studies. I'm from Haverhill, Massachusetts. I just wanted to you know, get in the classroom and then I wanted to make change at a bigger scale. And that's, that's why I do this work. Um, so it's been an exciting journey and wanted to flag that. Um, I think folks may have also seen that uh, Chair Bickford announced he will be stepping down as chair. So in April, we will be electing a new chair to the party, um, which will be very exciting on the uh, April 24th um, state committee meeting. So we're in preparation for that transition. Um, and the last thing I wanted to plug before, really just want to answer as many questions as possible. I hope folks can hear me, um, is that uh, it's 2023 now, and that means uh, two big things. The first is we are trying to help uh, in municipal elections where we can help. Um, we are, you know, sometimes bound by the, by the nature of these races, but anytime that there's a Democrat who is not running against other Democrats that we can help, we're tr uh, trying to do so. Um, and the big thing is that I want to just, you know, bring back, I know my colleagues talked with you guys about Blueprint, our year-round public service organizing effort. 
Um, we are planning a big Earth Day day of action. So uh, mark your calendars for April 22nd. We're trying to have as many public service events across the Commonwealth on that day. So um, the kind of big thinking behind having it as a public service event is we have heard the years of criticisms of, hey, the Democrats are only coming to me when they need something. They're only coming to us when they need my vote. They're only coming to us when they need my money. They're only coming to us when they need my time. And we have always tried to say no, because we're coming back during the off years, during the regular years, we're putting our money where our mouth is and committing to year round organizing. Um, and that includes showing the communities that Democrats care. You know, we don't just talk about the climate, but we're going to help clean up the park. Um, we're not just going to talk about education, but we're going to, you know, take off the graffiti off the high school around the corner. Um, really trying to show up in our communities, be an established presence, um, and to bring more people into the tent. And so that's why we're really committed to this. Um, we already have, I know one event is happening um, in the fourth congressional district. It's a little bit further from you guys though, up in Newton, um, they've committed. So that would be my big charge to the committee is if um, there's an event, something in the community that could use some help, some sprucing up, we'll help with resources, we'll help with recruitment. We're trying to get as many high level electeds and, and organizers in the community as possible to help jumpstart these um, programs and initiatives. So that's my big charge is if uh, folks can, um, you know, have brainstorm on something in the community that could use some sprucing up, could use some help with on April 22nd. Um, <clears throat> because it's Earth Day, we're trying to keep it an outdoor focus. Um, so that's that's our big program right now is, is pro, you know preparing for that. But um, those are the big things happening here at the party. Um, we really appreciate the meetings that you guys have and you know town and ward committees are our boots on the ground that's where we hear first about book burning republicans are running for local office or there's you know signs out here that we're not seeing in other communities or there's candidates you know that we, the, you guys are the boots on the ground for the democratic party um i think people sometimes think the party is this huge monolith of a million people you know who work in some scary building in boston we're a staff of seven people there, there's more people on this Zoom than there are who work at the party. You guys are the party. Um, and I am so appreciative for, for your work and your you know, commitment to, to this work because without you, we wouldn't have it. Um, so that's my spiel. I'm, I'm more than happy to you know, answer questions about anything that we're working on or anything that you're working on. I see a hand. Jeff, I'm kidding. Yeah, Deb, I always make sure people know I'm kidding. I said, uh, can you repeat yourself? We didn't hear any of it, but but we heard you. It got better. We did. We did <laughs> oh, sorry. The, gist of it. the first part was boring, I swear. <laughs> um, I don't know if you mentioned it. Can you talk more about the Earth Day focus? Uh, yeah. Um, oh. So Earth Day, is, uh, Earth Day is April 22nd. Um, and it's part of our blueprint program, our year round organizing program. Um, the reason behind it, um, just like blueprint in general, is we want people to know that Democrats care about them. It's not just about election day. It's not just about their vote or their donation dollars, but Democrats live in the community. They care about them. They care about these issues. We're not just talking about the climate, but we're cleaning up the park. We're not just talking about education, but we're helping support the school down the street that needs new paint outside. Um, and so it's about Democrats showing up. And that's why April 22nd is Earth Day, is our Earth Day of action. All across the Commonwealth, we're trying to have little events happening in as many communities as possible um, through town and ward committees. And it's whatever, you know, we don't want to be the top-down party telling you what to do. It's whatever you locally think could make the most sense. So I'm from Haverhill. I already know which park I bet they're going to pick to clean up because there's always, unfortunately, needles and trash happening there where kids could otherwise play. Um, and you know, if it's a river, if it's a stream, if it's a school in your neighborhood, um, something that locally folks care a lot about, we want to help with recruitment and we can give you the resources to build that out. 
if you have an event for on Earth Day, um, you know, through the town and work committee, we will list it on our emails. We're trying to get as many um, high level elected officials out there as possible. So whether we can get a, a member of Congress or a mayor or, you know, as many state committee members to, to come out and show support, we're trying to put all the resources of the party behind um, showing up in communities at a local level because all politics is local um, and showing the community that we care. So that's, that is my big ask is if um, on April 22nd, um, it would be a, a great day to have uh, an Earth Day of action. The, once you let us know what event you're gonna do and where, we will publicize it as much as possible um, and, and try to help you build for it. Do you have an Earth Day flyer? Do you have an Earth Day flyer that you can send I, out I, to I us? I couldn't hear if somebody was asking a question. Can you hear me now? We lost him. He's frozen. Oh, there we go. Right now. Hi, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. <laughs> I'm just wondering, do you have a flyer or something you could send out? Yes, I do. Um, we can... Yep, we're, I do have we a flyer. With the, uh, I'll email it after this meeting, and if you guys could share it out, and we're going to have more um, as we get closer as well. Yes. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions, comments? Yes, sir. Introduce yourself. Hey, um, Mark Corsillo. Um, just wanted to let you know the Keep Mansfield Beautiful is having their annual spring cleanup uh, the week after Earth Day. So it's April 29th. We'll be back. Okay, great. Thank you. Anybody else? So thank you. We appreciate your time and effort. Of course. Thank you very much. Thank you so much we'll for having me. in touch, you. I'm sure. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. And if you have any problems reaching us, call Joe. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.